<laughs> These two cousins speak a secret tongue in New Caledonia, a French territory in the South Pacific. They're part of the Momia tribe and their language is called Sisha, understood by only 15 people and critically endangered. Speakers have slowly left the village while the influence of French grows. It's a language that's going to die, if you can put it like that. It will disappear if you don't take the initiative or the will to always maintain it like your heritage. If it disappears, then where clans and traditions are concerned, you too will disappear. 28 indigenous or Kanak languages are spoken in New Caledonia. In the cousins' village, several others are also in use. We call French the language of bread, but the earth languages are the mother tongues. In recent years, a Kanak language institute has been opened. The major indigenous languages can also be studied in school, but there's no place for most of them, and subjects like maths and science remain in French. Most important is that kids hear their own language at school, as school is the main bastion of the French language. But other indigenous languages are faring better. Up-and-coming band Makija is rehearsing its brand of Melanesian reggae. Unusually for their generation, they're not singing in French but Drehu, the country's biggest Kanak language. That's thanks in part to encouragement from older members of the tribe like Rashad, who's responsible for maintaining traditional clan culture. Bit by bit, by singing, by chatting to the other children who speak Drehu, they have a desire to return to their roots. While time may be up for some of the territory's indigenous languages, there's hope that, against the odds, others will prosper.